73 magazine and somewhat devoted to making sure that we're here in uh, 1980 after the WARC conference. And uh, I'm a consultant in the communications industry out here in the lovely Burbank and vicinity today. WB6JPI. My name is Bob Thornburg. Anytime you are, Mr. Jensen. I miss not seeing you from time to time. Name is Bill. Call WB6QBB Mobile 6, and I hope you enjoy your tape. Am I loud enough for an audio man? I really feel quite inadequate holding a microphone. My call is WA6 Oscar Kilo Mike, and my name is Dave. I live out in Canoga Park. And top of the afternoon to you. And I'm going to use up all your film. <laughs> room is our little pocket radio. Uh, if you put it in your pocket, it's uh, it's good enough that we can uh, uh, we take all this data. But this is only part of it. The the front end of it's upstairs. This is only the IF portion of it. <laughs> we would be forever and a day breaking it down. The, as far as uh, the computers are the lifeline of this this deal. Uh, it's, it's 900, 920 million miles out, sending this signal down at 100, reaching here at 158, minus 158 dBm signal. So, gives you kind of a rundown on uh, what analog recording section. Now, the analog recordings at one time thought they could do without them, but they found out that if a computer breaks down over here, we don't have any, we will lose all our data. This way, we are taking and recording raw data direct from the receivers before it's ever detected or anything. It's just raw data going on there. We if tell them that uh, there's something's wrong up here. And they sometimes see it before we do. So we send it out a line at a time now on the line printer here. We copy it a line at a time. Now that's taking it right from the from the computer. Orders. Dead. It's data recorders. They record the uh, data on mag tape that will that this machine is gathering. This gathers all the information that happens here on the site. All incoming, outgoing, anything is generated locally. All the corner of the console, we have a uh, a display for the Viking mission that indicates uh, first point of failure. Uh, during a Viking mission, if we come up with a green station, everything uh, working okay. We can push a button here on the uh, on this panel, and it'll indicate which equipment we have to switch to in order to bring the station back into operation. If we cause receiver three to fail here, it's going to tell us to come down here to receiver four and what our configuration is going to be for for that particular failure. Here we have a CRT monitor. This monitor has, oh, I guess about a hundred different mnemonics that we can put on it, giving us uh, status of, of many pieces of equipment on the station, including the receivers, the telemetry strings, log writes on the tape units, the status of the command system. It, uh, if everything on it is in a green status, uh, of course it indicates that everything is okay, and if anything comes up red, it's, it's a failure of some particular item. On the bottom of the CRT is a uh, time tag with mnemonics that tell us that uh, something happened within the station. There are two items here on the bottom here. It says we have a APS alarm, which is the antenna pointing system. Uh, uh, antenna uh, installation, and uh, it is a, uh, a HADAC uh, type of instrument. Uh, in other words, it moves in our angle and declination as compared to the AZL configurations of the 210-foot uh, and the other 85-foot uh, uh, antennas out here. You, you are looking at the Echo Deep Space Station out here on, on the JPL NASA's reservation. This is the 85-foot antenna. They just turned it for us. I think they're tracking a space station. A uh, particular antenna is the 210-foot uh, uh, dish uh, located at Goldstone. It's an AS 